Hello beautiful Libras, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot and Astrology. Let's take a look and see what the overall energy is. We're going to look at your person's energy, your energy, and then the outcome. We'll clarify, of course, at the bottom of the deck the energy is... Ooh, the Page of Wands throwing caution to the winds. But you're both checking each other out, looking each other up and down. They like how you look. This person has a sense of adventure, of playfulness. They might even like to play dress up. They might like to enjoy a Halloween sort of environment. Very playful, very nice energy for you. So let's see what we have here. The Seven of Pentacles, well, you're, you know, you're invested, you're taking your time, you're feeling comfortable. The Seven of Coins is Taurus energy. You're looking to see if this relationship brings you the value that you require. Libra, you are ruled by love and, you know, Venus and Saturn. So you really want something that's going to be reliable. We have the energy of the female emperor. And what we see here is it looks like for many of you, you have a leadership role in your life, you know, wherever you work, whatever you do. Uh, it looks like you might manage a lot of people. It really speaks to the fact that you feel empowered in your life. You're in a good place. You want, uh, you want only the best. You'll choose only the best. You feel as though you have a lot on your plate. You're very busy. So you need someone who really steps up to the plate. That's your preference. When we get all oh, nice energy. So you're feeling very stable, very grounded. You are very happy in your home life. We have the four of wands. For those of you who are married, you know, you have a very nice, your viewpoint is that you have a very nice, stable relationship. We also see that you and a person, your person may be looking at buying a home. Your energy is very much grounded, very committed. You're, you know, this is a person that you want in your life and you are investing your time and energy in having them. How, what energy do they have? Well, they are coming in as a sexy queen of wands. This energy is all about uh, very business oriented. The queen of wands tends to be that person out there on the cutting edge. It is sexy. It's fiery. When we look at Aries energy, we're looking at somebody who really is super smart. They're the sharp end of the spear, as I like to say. They're, they have they like to take the lead. This is a person who likes to be in a leadership role. Uh, they find you immensely attractive. They are going to, and they are very interactive with you, chasing you. This is your natural house of the seventh uh, of marriage. So an Aries is your natural seventh house, especially if you're a Libra rising. You naturally gravitate to someone who pursues you, who's very talkative, who enjoys um, who enjoys the best in life, who likes to have fun. Very sexy energy, though. They're also coming in with a justice card. Libra, they are looking at you and you look absolutely beautiful to them. They feel that you're very balanced. They, they just see you as the one. This justice card means that, you know, in their mind, you're the person to choose. So this is very balanced energy. Justice card is partnership because it rules the seventh house. Your house, Libra, that's your energy. So they feel very grounded in this relationship. They feel very balanced in this relationship. Your person feels as though this could go the distance. They're very discerning. You may be dealing with somebody who has a Libra moon or Mercury or even Venus. The Sun card, wow, Libra, this is the best reading I've had for you, I think, in a very long time. They see you as their happy place. They see you as like, you're like the day at the beach. But these energies, that's Leo energy. It's very hot. It's very sexy. It's fun. It's reliable. The sun comes out every day, even if there's clouds. But your person really is choosing you. This is a remarkable reading for you. So we're going to look and see what spirit has to say about this reading. And um, let's see. I am also looking for ideas and suggestions. So if you have anything to say about the video, it would be great. It would be helpful. I love feedback. Leave a comment below. If not, tell me where you're from in the world. I'm broadcasting from Chicago. It's always fun to sort of wave to everybody. I answer comments. All right. 
we have reflectory pool, reflecting pool, sorry, stillness. So right now the relationship is kind of quiet. Okay, you're both really reflecting on what you want. You're considering the other person very seriously. Some of you might be running a people finder. If this is a new relationship, you may be doing some investigative uh, journalism or journaling, but it looks as though you're checking each out, other out pretty carefully. Let's see what we have here also. We have we have the family. So both of you want stability. Both of you want a family. Both of you want to be able to go the distance in this relationship. Both of you feel that this is a very powerful opportunity in your life, and you're wondering if, you know, this is going to work out. I see this as a fabulous love reading for both of you. You're well matched. Your energy is great. Generosity. Both of you, this is Maple Spirit. I would say probably by fall, you will be, um, you will really be in a very committed relationship where you're giving a lot to the relationship, you're receiving a lot from the relationship. So let's look and see what the energy is in terms of the clarifiers. So tell us something about the Page of Wands, please. What is, what is, what do we need to know about the Page of Wands? Okay. Seven of coins. Both of you are being very patient. Seven of, excuse me, seven of wands. Seven of coins. I apologize. Seven of coins, seven of coins. So that is you, and that's your energy in the overall energy is that you're invested. Six of wands, you want a victory. And the eight of coins is, why do I keep saying the seven of wands? It's a six of wands, the seven of pentacles twice, and the eight of pentacles. So both of you are very much in the energy overall of getting to know each other, getting to know all about each other, spending time with each other. That's the Honey, I'm Home card. I think that you're hanging out a lot at one another's home. I feel very much that you're in the energy of investing. When I said the seven of wands twice, I'm going to clarify that even because it was a slip of the tongue. What I'm seeing is that you're very guarded, but you're very invested. Seven of Wands is being guarded, being a little bit defensive, being cautiously optimistic, being very watchful. And that's what I feel, that both of you are invested in this relationship, uh, but you're also doing it you know, cautiously, very cautiously. I think that's smart, right? We don't know who people are until we really get to know who they are. So let's see what we have here for your seven of coins. What is that energy? But this is powerfully positive energy. Seven of swords. So Libra, you are checking out the other person. See this little fox? This fox is spying. Seven of swords can also mean that you'd have the temptation maybe to uh, spy on somebody, to sort of sneak around, maybe drive by their house, see if there are other cars, see if they're out partying. You know, it's rational. Might not be advisable if you got caught, but uh, put a wig on if you're driving by somebody's house at night. I am teasing with you, of course, but if you do, be careful, okay, because that would not be something that your person would like. Okay, the star card. Look at you, Libra. Aquarius energy, hopes and dreams for love coming true. Feeling that, like your person is someone of high level interest. They could even be famous. They could be well known in their field. Uh, but you really like them. I get the Eight of Swords. You're keeping this all to yourself. You're not going to say too much. You're going to take this at a day at a time. It's very much a wait and see attitude. So you're going to let this person pursue you is what I'm seeing. Let's see what do we have here for the Feminine Emperor, the Moon card. When I look at the Feminine Emperor, we see somebody who is very much pulling the strings, manipulating the circumstances around them. I see this as like a people, a people person, a manager. Maybe you have a, a big responsibility at work. And, it, you know, what we see here is that you 
have a tendency to want to do that in this relationship. The moon card, sort of undercover at night, checking someone out, checking out their profile, their dating profile, um, really making sure. It's not that you're manipulating any this person in any way, but you are being very careful. There are strings attached to your love, and you are taking your time because, you know, everybody has some fear. And it looks like you've been burned. You know, you're not going to let it happen again is what I'm seeing here. That you're not going to be in that energy of carelessness. The devil card, though, does say that you have to be careful. You could cross a boundary here. Uh, the devil card is when we want to control a situation to feel safe. But that's not really going to be helpful to the situation. Again, it's Capricorn energy. And so... You know, it, it can also be an obsession. It can be that you may feel attracted to somebody at, at work and you may have to have a secretive relationship because of it. There might be some reason that the two of you can't be public in the work environment. So we get the Hermit card Virgo energy again, another work energy. So this might be somebody you see day to day. It also might be a situation in which you have some sort of working relationship with them and both of you are very attracted to each other and both of you are sort of waiting and seeing what's going to happen the four of wands energy on though is uh, you know you this could be a twin flame relationship for you it can also be someone with whom you marry you know your vibe is very much of having a serious relationship building a beautiful life together a home, you know, purchasing a home. The cards are falling a lot today, so it does speak to you feeling a bit uncertain about this. So let's see what the clarifier is. We have the Seven of Wands. Okay, okay, I said the Seven of Wands. It's now appearing in the reading. So you're being cautious. You're holding back. You're not saying too much. You are very enthusiastic, very passionate, very attracted to this person. And the Mother of Wands, look at that. You embody everything that this person wants. You have their undivided attention. Their attention is riveted upon you, Libra. Wonderful. I love it. So how do they see the Queen of Wands energy? Uh, okay, Libra, what's going on here? Have you ignored this person? This person feels left out in the cold by you. They miss you. Have you been apart for a period of time? They do think that timing is critical. They feel as though they want to come in from out of the cold. We're seeing the energy. You know, when we get the Hermit card, I will say that you may not have answered a text for them. Um, you know, the Devil card could be, for some, sometimes it's playing games or, you know, or trying to be safe. You know, what I see here is you're really trying to be safe and you don't want to repeat some sort of error in that you've had in the past in relationships. So your person, though, is feeling, uh, you know, very left in the cold. Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is walking away. Tell us about the Eight of Cups. Why is it here? Your person really is super attracted to you. The Hanged Man. Okay. So they're trying to figure out if they should walk away or if they, if they, if you still are interested in them. They really don't know. They're confused. Your person's trying to look at things from a different perspective, but I'm getting them in this energy. Why would they walk away, Ace of Cups, for a new love relationship? Okay, so I'm going to, there's a couple of storylines. There almost always are. When we get the Four of Wands, one of you may already be married. When we get the Justice card, somebody could be engaged here in this situation. It may require having to leave somebody else behind and having to leave another relationship um, to come to you in this one. So take it as it resonates, but that's you know, there's always several storylines. It is a general reading. Take what resonates like a buffet table and leave the rest. So the Justice card is here. The Justice card can be a marriage license. It can also be a marriage partnership. It can be the initiation of divorce. So to have this relationship, when we get the Queen of Wands, we have to say to you that it could be that you're, somebody's the other, quote unquote, the other woman, the other, like the seductress is what I get, that your person may be doing that with you, you may be doing that with them, you could both be married really, you know, sort of on the down low, 
but let's see what we have for, here for the Justice card. Son of Pentacles. So it does appear that your person views you as the person who is tethered. And um, you may be unavailable to them. The Son of Pentacles energy, I like it. That is a Knight of Pentacles. So it does speak to the fact that you might be dealing with a single Virgo. The Two of Coins, they feel juggled. So again, it could be that you have attachments here. Or you have someone lingering in the past. They want a new, they want to start with you. They want to have a fresh beginning with you. We get the energy of the fool. Why is the fool card here? Judgment. Justice and judgment are always in my, I just see it systemically over 30 years of doing personal readings for people. It is justice is the initiation of paperwork to get a divorce. Judgment is a final, final dissolution of marriage. Four of wands, four of wands. So I think you could be married lovers in love with one another. But we see that the two of you want the same thing. You're very much really... That devil card is tethered to one another. That there is absolutely a twin flame uh, relationship here. Lover's card, your person sees you as the one. They see you. That's Gemini energy. That's making a choice. Look at that son of wands. Okay. The son of wands, though, means that the two of you are not married. That would say to me, your person is single. We've got two, two night cards here. They are in this sort of very passionate energy towards you. The death card, though, they're waiting for you to end something. You know, somebody has something has to end here for the two of you to come together. There has to be a walk away. There has to be a divorce. There has to be some sort of action taken. Page of Wands is how they feel. Page of Wands is how the reading began. So both of you, again, are checking each other out. Let's look and see what the outcome is at this time for your reading. Let's see what do we have for the outcome for our Libra friends. What's going to happen this week? Let's see. What will likely happen this week in love for you and this person? Lots of attraction, lots of sexy energy, playful, excitement, very huge attraction. Okay, so Seven of Wands, again, the outcome card is saying that you are both feeling like you want to break out of a cage. Look at that. It's You're tired of feeling like you have to protect yourself. You want to break out. You see, you can see in this card that the person has love in big L-O-V-E tattooed across the chest. So this, both of you would like to get, you'd both like to take your shirts off. You both want to let your guard down, though. You want to break out of the restrictions is what I'm seeing. Both of you feel very powerfully attracted. You're feeling sad and lonely. You're missing one another. You know, it's your own special rain cloud just above your heads. You're not liking the energy right now. Oh, self-imposed restriction. So what I'm seeing is two people who are waiting sort of in the wings for a chance to be together. Let's take a look and see what the clarifiers are for the Seven of Wands energy. So I don't see anything big happening this week. Lady of Unicorns, we see both of you see one another as very exceptional, very special. The Lady of Unicorns is very charming. It is a fairy who really seeks out men, human men to have relationships with. So metaphorically speaking, it means that you see each other as very unique, very unusual, very special, sexy, desirable. There's something very intriguing about this attraction. I get the song card. Both of you may, you might share songs and music or a love of music. I'm getting that both of you want to enjoy time, sing your song to each other, so to speak. Um, we also get the Queen of Hearth and Home. Wow. Both of you are feeling very sad that you're not spending time together. The self-imposed restriction is both of you doing the right thing or what you think you have to do. But what you want together is a hearth and home. So I'm going to leave it there for you, Libra. Thanks so much for your time. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Thanks.